Nihao from Taipei, the Sasha for Netbook News.com with the attack of the glossy displays. Now that's the new Asus ePad Transformer Prime. A nice little mirror here. And it's running the NVIDIA Tegra 3 platform, the very first quad core tablet in the world. And uh, it's based on Android Honeycomb 3.2.1. What I would like to show you are some decent benchmarks. Um, let's start with Quadrant, that most of you guys are familiar with. You know, in each and every review, you can uh, for smartphones and tablets, we can see this quarter benchmark. Even though I'm not very sure um, if this is really supporting multi-threading. So if you know that, leave us a comment down here, somewhere here on YouTube, and up there you can subscribe to our videos. And of course, you can also rate our videos. Feedback is always welcome. Okay, here we go. Finally, some graphics. This is running at like, I would say, an average of 60 frames a second. That's not too bad, I guess. And again, 60 frames a second. 59, 61, 62. I would say 60 frames a second. Okay, show me the results. Here we go, 2,800. It just depends, right? If you're running it a couple of times, you can always almost reach uh, 3,000 points. So that was Quadrant. Let's go for the next one, and this will be Nanomark 1. Okay. This is running in landscape mode. Let's change its angle a little bit. Here we go. That's better. Fifty nine point six frames a second. Okay, let's go for the next one. Or maybe we want to close some of these benchmarks before. Here we go. And what about N three D Bench XL? And why not listening to some music while we're doing this? So here we go, a total score of 36,000, I can see it, okay, let's go over to the next one, and this should be, let's see what else do we have here, Antutu Benchmark.
So here we go. 10,046 points. Let's see the ranking. Oh, maybe I need to submit the score first. Well, 10,400. Uh, here we go. Submit scores. Ooh, no, don't want to sign up. Whatever. 10,046 points. You got it. <laughs> Oh, by the way, here's a score shot. That should help. Let's see. Okay, here we go. We are over there. Let's see the bar chart. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty decent, I guess. And last but not least, we still have another Nanomark. Here we go, Nanomark 2, and let's give it a shot. Forty five point four. And one more. We also have the GL benchmark. Here we go. Let's do uh, Egypt off screen, Egypt high, and Egypt on the pro off screen. That should do it. Yep. just to distract you a little bit. Thumbs up if you like the distraction. <laughs> Okay, let me type in my login so we can get the results. Okay, here are the results. Um, couldn't run the GL benchmark 2.1 Egypt High. Um, the Egypt off screen scored 55.2 frames a second and the Pro off screen 66.5 frames a second. And last but not least, we still have the Sun Spider benchmark. The Volamo benchmark, by the way, it isn't working at all. But let's try the Sun Spider. Here we go. And I've been just running it already before, and it's 1863.2 milliseconds. So this gives you a little idea about the performance of the new Asus ePad Transformer Prime. I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.